Hey guys, today is August 3rd and for today's video I am very quickly going to be doing like a speed round of a Disney Parks tag. Um, I have to go into work tonight. For those of you that don't know, I work at Magic Kingdom. I'm going to be working at the Emporium tonight, so I have to leave pretty soon. Um, so I wanted to get my um, today's video filmed before I have to go into work tonight. Um, so I stumbled upon Sarah Sterling's um, Disney Parks tag video kind of recently. Um, and she included the person who created it. She included their video in her description. So I will include both of their videos in my description box down below so you guys can check them out if you want to. Um, there are, it looks like there are 10 questions in this Disney Parks tag. So like I said, I'm going to be going through them pretty quickly for my video today. So um, let's get started. So the first question of the Disney Parks tag is, when was the first time you visited a Disney Park? Um, it was so early in my life that I don't even remember it. Um, there are pictures of my mom pregnant with me at Disney Parks, and the youngest picture of myself that I have seen, I was six weeks old. Um, I think they took me into Epcot. I think it was my, it, it was either just my parents or my parents and my godparents. Um, went into Epcot probably just for a short time. I'd love to ask my parents if they have any like memories of that day. Um, but to my knowledge, the first time I visited a Disney park, I was six weeks old um, and just kept going my whole life from there. Um, what is your favorite Disney park? Um, this is a very tough question, as I'm sure a lot of these will be for me. Um, it is so hard for me to pick between Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom and Disneyland Park. Um, it is just next to impossible for me to pick. Depending on the day that you ask me, it will be one or the other. I always feel like obligated to say Magic Kingdom because that is the park that I grew up visiting. It is the park that I work at, um, but I visited Disneyland for the first time when I was 21 years old and I was just absolutely enchanted by it. I absolutely love Disneyland. Um, you really can't beat the original, but you also can't beat something um, that is so close to my heart as Magic Kingdom, where I just grew up going there and is arguably the reason that I fell in love with Disney so much. So um, they both have their reasons that they are my favorites. Um, I love them both. What is your happiest single moment in a Disney park? Um, another difficult question to answer, but one of the first ones that comes to mind is visiting Magic Kingdom with my parents. I believe I had just turned 18, and it was for my high school graduation. My parents um, reserved a lunch in Cinderella's castle at Cinderella's Royal Table, and that was my first I, I believe my first time that I remember at least, my first and only time um, eating there. It was absolutely a magical day. Um, and then actually when we left lunch, it was raining, um, which at first seemed like, oh, it's raining, but all of the other guests left and we pretty much had the entire park to ourselves, so it actually made it an even more magical day. So it was wonderful. Um, I have so many, so many happy memories at Disney, so it's hard to pick just one, but that's kind of the first one that comes to mind. What is your favorite Disney Parks purchase? I'll keep going with the first things that come to mind, and it is my two um, Disney Dooney and Burke purses. So I have one of the original um, sketch purses, and then I have one that has... Um, Mickey and Minnie sitting at a table in front of um, Sleeping Beauty Castle. If I can find a picture of it, I'll insert it here so that you guys can at least see what it looks like. Um, but those are, you know, um, more expensive Disney purchases that I've made and definitely worth it in my opinion. Um, and probably a couple of my absolute favorites. What is your favorite Disney attraction? Um, Probably my all-time favorite, you guys will probably make fun of me for this, is Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. I just absolutely love Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. It makes me happy. It makes me giggle. It makes my heart smile. It just, I love it so much. Um, but more recently, um, Pandora's Flight of Passage has become a favorite of mine because I was absolutely blown away by that. 
ride. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous and just so different, I feel, from anything else I've ridden before. So um, that's another favorite of mine. Which character do you have to meet when you go to a Disney park? I am not a huge character person, but if I were to meet any character at all, I would meet Mickey Mouse because who else? Um, if you could build a Disney attraction based on your favorite Disney movie, what would it be? Well, my favorite Disney movie is Monsters, Inc. That's mostly because my favorite Disney character is Boo. Um, so I have always, like, I don't know if anyone else ma has made up this idea, but I have always had the idea in my head of a ride of the scene where they're chasing Randall and they're on the doors and they're going through, like, the door factory or whatever it is. I've always, like, uh, thought that would be a really awesome, like, roller coaster. Um, but I see that's just, like, one scene in a movie, so I see why they haven't done it. But that's what I would create, personally. What is your favorite Disney Parks restaurant? Hmm. I'm gonna say a couple, the first that come to mind. Um, Tony's Town Square Restaurant at Magic Kingdom is a favorite of mine. Not so much for the food, but because Scott and I have eaten there a few times together and it's just really happy memories uh, for us. I also love Crystal Palace at Magic Kingdom. Again, not as much for the food. It's food you could get anywhere. Um, but because Winnie the Pooh and friends um, visit you there at that restaurant, and I love that. Um, another one that Scott and I have eaten at many times together is Trails End at Fort Wilderness. Um, that one because of the food. We absolutely love the food. It's a buffet. Um, so those are the first three that come to mind. I'm not really good at picking one thing here, am I? Um... Describe a situation when a Disney cast member went above and beyond for you. My mom had just recently bought a Disney Dooney and Burke purse for herself, and it was the It's a Small World one, if any of you have seen it. Um, and, like, the stitching uh, um, on the side, there's, like, a whole, like, stitching around, like, the bottom half of it. I don't think I'm describing that well, but the stitching on the back side of the purse started to, like, completely come undone. I think she had had the purse for maybe two or three months, but it was still new enough that, like, that shouldn't be happening. Um, so we brought it to Magic Kingdom with us one day that we just happened to be going there, and she's like, I know they probably can't do anything. If anything, it would maybe be Dooney and Burke that would, like, replace it or do something for you. Um, but she said, I thought I'd just bring it in and see if they would, like, exchange it for me. And this really wonderful cast member um, on Main Street, he helped us, like, so much. And long story short, he ended up replacing the purse for her completely, got her a new one. Um, and now she's had that one for a year or two, and it has been wonderful. Um, so he definitely went above and beyond because I feel like he didn't necessarily have to, like, it um, replace the purse for us like we weren't expecting that but he did anyway um, and I think he went above and beyond for us. The tenth and final question is plan your dream Disney vacation. Include your perfect resort, restaurant, park, and show. Wow. Um, my dream Disney vacation I think would be um, what Scott and I have actually done before is go to Disneyland in California for a whole week. Um, it would be... Now, I have only been to Disneyland in California and Walt Disney World in Florida. I haven't been to any of the international parks yet. So, I'm going to say a vacation that we have actually had, which is staying at Disneyland for a whole week. I would stay at the Grand Californian because I have stayed there and it is absolutely magnificent. I loved it. I would stay there um, for a whole week if I could and go into the parks every single day. Um, one day going to Disneyland, the next day going to California Adventure, and so on and so forth. Um, as much or as little as we wanted. Um, I think... As far as restaurant, it's hard to decide. I mean, I could eat at one every day, but if I had to say just one, I would eat at Carthay Circle because I've actually never eaten there um, inside California Adventure, and I've always wanted to eat there, so I'm just going to say that's the one I would pick. Um, 
So I said resort, restaurant, park, and show. Well, I would go into both parks, of course, because why not? And if I could only see one show, it would be World of Color. So that would be my dream Disney vacation, is just to go there for a whole week, get away from reality, just be with Scott, and just being together and enjoying our favorite place um, is just my favorite thing to do. So that is all 10 of the questions for the Disney Parks tag. Um, I hope I didn't ramble too much, but I also hope it wasn't too short because like I mentioned, I'm on my way to work at the Emporium tonight. I'm excited about that. I love working at the Emporium. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed my answers to the Disney Parks tag. Now I tag all of you guys watching this to do this video if you want to or if you want to answer any of the questions, just leave your answers in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, and since I am uploading a video every day in August, I'd love to hear from you guys anything that you want to see. Um, so let me know in the comments down below if there's anything specific you'd be interested in seeing. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to see my videos in the future. So thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.